So, trading a 91 ThinkPad, or a 2005 ThinkPad gets you a 91 Toyota Camry. <laughs> yeah, I traded a ThinkPad I bought for 10 bucks for a car that runs and drives. Um, we'll get to uh, what's wrong with it in a little bit. First of all, there's some, well, I guess we'll get to it right now, cosmetic things. That is legit bungee cord right there, holding this light on, but it still works. As you can see, that bumper is definitely not the same silver color, nor is the hood. The hood is actually really ghetto. Um, windshield is cracked, but not terrible. Uh, <clears throat> I found out I actually don't have a windshield wiper right there. Um, oh yeah, duct tape is holding this on, but I do have a key for the uh, gas cap because, yeah, I've got two keys for it. So there's that. In the back, it's not terrible. I'm missing my V6 sticker, or my DX sticker. I think that's what it would have been. There's the Camry logo. State Farm Insurance. Somehow I have a feeling this was purchased as an insurance car. Um, as in, like, someone totaled it, bought it, and yeah, so. All right, I got rims on this car, too. That roof is kind of hideous. <laughs> But yeah, all right, so let's go back around. Oh yeah, small damage right there. Not much rust on it though. Surprisingly, like, just around the wheel well is where there's rust. I think it's still off. That lovely automatic seat belt. All right, what else do we got? We got no radio. Yeah, it's not an option. The clock, oh, it's faint as you might be able to see, it does still work. The passenger automatic seatbelt works. The car isn't terrible other than that. Came with some free shoes on the floor and other stuff. Still got a shifter. Got the cigarette lighter. I got the manual with it too, but I think it's inside. Yeah. All right. What else do we got? Rear defrost, cruise, hazards. Heat still works. I don't know about the AC. I'm going to just assume it doesn't work because of how old the car is. Horn does not work. <laughs> Power locks work though. All the windows except for the driver's window work. Go figure. Manual windows. Yeah. Oh, or manual mirrors, I should say. 246,607 miles on the odometer, and this is all still an original car. Um. <laughs> Wow, I'm really surprised this car made it to 230, or 220 actually. Um, you normally know, see these things at the junkyard with around 220, if not, give or take a little bit more. Key is the best part though, watch this. Alright, so everything goes, automatic seatbelt just went. It's really bad when you first start it up. But watch this. Yeah, you don't need a key to drive this car, really. All right. Now, here's what's wrong with the car. This is the main one. Oh, let's see if the, fr the frost works in the back. Hopefully it does. All right. Now, if we are to drive this car, I have a CV joint that's going out. And I probably need some uh, transmission fluid here. Because if I recall correctly, it's uh, like a really disgusting dark brown. It sounds loud, it is loud, it's really disgusting. Yeah, something's rattling right now. Um, 
Other than that, it can make it down the road okay. I mean, like, you can drive it around, it won't die. Um, I drove it to school and back. This car, I should nickname it Helen Back. Yeah. So. CV joint needs to be fixed. Oh yeah, the dash lights don't work, so uh, push that on, and we got some uh, got some lights right there. Um, there's still some things in the trunk that I refuse to touch. One of them being a pair of panties. I really don't know what the hell's the story behind that, but I really don't care to know as well. I also got um, the driver's side uh, automatic window controls. There are two pairs of them actually in my trunk, and I also got a new power uh, window motor. So that's kind of nice. But yeah. <clears throat> oh, Volkswagen Jetta. The Beast, uh, I don't know, I might keep her around. Right now I'm driving a Prism, and it's ass. So, I mean, like, it's, it's fine, it's just really basic compared to this car. This car, uh, not really, I guess. This car doesn't have attack either. I like having attack on my cars, that's my thing. I also got cruise control in this car, which I don't have on that. I have a clock, which I really don't have on that. So yeah. Power windows and locks, which I definitely don't have on that. So yeah. But yeah, it's not a bad little hoopty. My dome light doesn't work. Oh. Other than that though. It's not a terrible little car. These plastic, yeah, they are. Oh my god. <sighs> so, yeah. And I got the title with it, too. So, that's always, always, always good. <laughs> I don't think I would have driven it if I didn't have the title. Or bought it. Or traded it, I should say, if I didn't have the title. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Let's show you guys under the. Oh, no, I don't have my tool. See, you have to have a special tool to get the hood open. It's called a flathead screwdriver because you have to like wedge it in between there and pop it up so you can get the latch. Just because you release it doesn't mean it's going up. Underneath the hood is okay though. The engine's actually fairly clean for what it is. But it still is the original engine. So yeah. The beast lives on. And all it took me was a laptop I bought for $10. I'm still kind of confused if that's on the bottom here. I don't really know Toyota Camrys. If that's all part, yeah, okay, that is all part of it. Just really weird setup. Anyways, got my hood emblem. So I think I'm gonna tape the Cadillac logo on the front. I'm just I'm not that cattle, but yeah. This is what I got to work with. So anyways, I shall return later with more updates about this car. Just got to make more updates about this, because I got this one too. I also have a Prelude, but that's definitely dead for right now. <laughs> it's going to be dead for a long time. I don't feel like putting a new speedometer in it. So yeah. Thanks for watching.